Hey guys, I'm Ted here to give you another fast fact and for today's fast fact we're going to discuss the origins of the Seven Years War. Now the Seven Years War, the origins of the Seven Years War are pretty much rooted in the unresolved issues at the end of the war of the Austrian succession. So at the end of the Austrian succession, Great Britain and France were still jostling for control in the, in the New World and in India. Uh, they both had success there, but they hadn't had the type of success that saw one emerge supreme over the other in either of those spheres of influences and those uh, spheres, of, uh, spheres of control. Um, the war for them would erupt when the French began to make good on their uh, attempt to, on their, uh, on their claim to possession of the uh, Ohio River Valley when they began to erupt forts and trading stations. And their forts and trading stations were always accompanied by groups of uh, pro-French natives establishing villages close to them. So they sort of had, uh, it was sort of like a, um, a packed fist approach. It wasn't just the French, it wasn't just the French garrison, it was a French and their native allies garrison. Uh, with the native allies uh, establishing a settlement uh, to support, to in turn support the French garrison that in turn supported them. Uh, for the Austrians, the Russians, and the Prussians, there were or there was a uh, there were a lot of unresolved issues in the North East Baltic um, in in regards to spirits of influences and authority uh, between the. The Romanov, uh, the Russian Romanov family, and the Hohenzollern kings of Prussia, Margraves of Brandenburg. There were also a lot of unresolved issues uh, between the uh, Hohenzollerns and the Habsburgs. Now, the last Habsburg Archduke, the last Habsburg Emperor, had died, uh, and his daughter Maria Theresa exceeded. Uh, in 1740. Now that event uh, sort of touched off the War of the Austrian Succession. Uh, Frederick, Frederick II of Prussia took this opportunity, took the death of uh, Charles VII, the uh, Holy Roman Emperor, to invade, capture, and hold Silesia, a Austrian Polish province. Uh, and right after he did so, he then declared himself to be Maria Theresa's most loyal, most faithful servant and would defend her imperial honor. Well, Maria Theresa knew a wooden nickel when she saw it, and she immediately marched, uh, sent the Austrian armies out to capture Silesia. However, the Austrian armies hadn't been in a really good fight for quite some time, and the Prussians... The Hohenzollerns, I should say, were always military. They were always engaged in some sort of military drill, some sort of innovation and tactics, and they could not be dislodged from Silesia. And when the war ended in 1748, neither the Baltic uh, questions regarding uh, Russia and Prussia nor Silesia had been had been resolved, uh, at least to the Habsburg uh, liking. Uh, both areas remained in Prussian hands and the Russians and the Austrians were eagerly looking for opportunities to break the Prussian control of that, to break Prussian power there. So after the war, the Austrians began to make diplomatic overtures to the Bourbon powers, that would be France and Spain, and they concluded broad sweeping marriage alliances with the French Bourbons and the Spanish Bourbons. Uh, this would most famously um, include the, the marriage of the Dauphin of France, Louis Auguste, the future Louis XVI, with Maria Antonia, one of the younger daughters of the Austrian uh, Archduchess Maria Theresa, uh, better known by her French name, Marie Antoinette. Um, it would also see a number of Bourbon princes in Italy, uh, in Parma, uh, in, uh, what's it, in Naples and Sicily, marrying Austrian Archduchess. It would also see a lot of Bourbon, Spanish Bourbon princesses and French Bourbon princesses, uh, marrying the Italian allies of the Austrians. 
Uh, the Austrians then concluded uh, an alliance with the Russians and brought the French into an alliance with the Russians to sort of put the squeeze on Prussia. And this was all a part of Austria's plan to buy Prussian attention so that they can gain back Silesia. And it benefited the Russians because it gave them the opportunity of also weakening Prussia in the east so that they can go in and smash Prussia along the Baltic and regain and, uh, and gain those Baltic provinces that they wanted. And there you guys have it. Those are the sort of uh, really just roundabout uh, reasons for the outbreak of the uh, Seven Years' War. Now, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you found it a little entertaining or a little enlightening. And as always, hit like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you thought about it. As always, I'm Ted, uh, and I'll see you guys later for another Fast Fact.